Welcome back to our series of training videos devoted to the Acronis Data Cloud plugin for ConnectWise Automate. In this video, we will demonstrate for you how a managed service provider can manage an Acronis backup and recovery operations directly from ConnectWise Automate's user interface. So let's get started. First, let's have a look at the Acronis backup and recovery operations that you as a managed service provider can perform at the client level. Thus, double click on a desired client from the client list and navigate to the Acronis Data Cloud tab. ConnectWise Automate will automatically display all the machines assigned to that client in the Acronis Data Cloud. You can filter the client machines by clicking on the corresponding tabs. For example, you can display only those machines that do not have backup plans or have outdated backup agents. For each machine, you can apply one of the available backup plans, revoke backup plans, or stop already initiated backup processes. Moreover, for each machine, you can install, update, or uninstall the backup agents. All of those operations can be applied also to a bulk of machines. As an option, you can open the current client in the Acronis Data Cloud Management Console by pressing the corresponding button. Based on the good practices of our partners, we recommend you to create backup plan templates for each type of your client's machines, such as servers and workstations, and automatically apply those plans to new machines of your clients. This will allow you to dramatically save time and reduce your workload. In order to create a new backup plan template in ConnectWise Automate's user interface, we need to firstly create a backup plan in the Acronis Data Cloud and then import it to the ConnectWise Automate as a template. In order to create a new backup plan in the Cronus Data Cloud, log into the Management Console using your partnered account credentials. And navigate to Backup and Disaster Recovery tab on the top of the page. Select a desired customer. In the right pop-up panel, navigate to the Backup tab and press the Manage Service button. Select a machine and in the right pop-up panel, press the backup button. Specify the name of the new backup plan, storage, schedule, and retention policy. Press the Create button to complete the operation. In order to create a new backup template in the ConnectWise Automate, navigate to System, Configuration, Dashboard. Click on the Config tab and navigate to Integration, Acronis Data Cloud, Imported Backup Plans. Here you can see existing backup plans of your clients automatically imported from Acronis Data Cloud. Press the Import button. Select the appropriate partner and customer whose backup plan you would like to use as a template. Select a desired backup plan in the list and press the import button. The new template will appear in the list of imported backup plans. You can make it a default template by pressing the set as default button. In order to apply the default plan to a machine of a specific client, Double click on the name of that client. Navigate to the Acronis Data Cloud tab. Select a machine from the list and press the Apply button. Select the default plan from the list. As an option, you can run the new backup plan immediately by ticking the corresponding checkbox. Press the Apply button. In turn, in order to automatically apply the default plan to new machines of the selected client, make sure that the checkbox Apply Default Plan to Machines Without Plans Automatically is selected. 
Let's have a look at the Acronis backup and recovery operations at the machine level now. Within the ConnectWise Automate, you can conveniently manage all the backup and recovery operations for a specific client machine. Thus, double click on the name of the corresponding machine, navigate to Plugins, and click the Acronis Data Cloud plugin. You can see all the backup plans applied to the current machine and their status. First, you can create a new backup plan or revoke one of the existing plans. Second, you can run a backup plan manually or stop it. Third, you can update the backup agent installed on the current machine or uninstall it. Finally, you can recover the machine using one of the stored recovery points. Please notice that the recovery options take place in the Acronis Data Cloud Management Console. Thus, once you press the recovery button, you'll be forwarded to the Management Console. As an option, you can open the current machine, the Acronis Data Cloud Management Console, by pressing the corresponding button. Let's have a look at the monitoring capabilities of the Acronis Data Cloud plugin. Thus, Navigate to Tools, and then Acronis Dashboard. The interactive Acronis Dashboard presents the history of all the backup operations of all your clients over the last month. You can narrow down the scope and display of the information related to only a specific client by selecting the client from the drop-down list. Please note that all charts are clickable. You can click on a specific part of the chart to generate a data view report about the corresponding aspects. For instance, you can generate a data view report displaying the information about unprotected machines of your clients, that is, machines without backup plans. All the data view reports can be easily exported to Excel. Let's have a look at the scripting capabilities of the Acronis Data Cloud plugin now. The plugin provides a number of scripts that allow you to dramatically simplify and streamline all of the Acronis backup and recovery operations within the ConnectWise Automate user interface. Navigate to Automation, Scripts, View Scripts. In the list, you can see the following Acronis plugin scripts Acronis Data Cloud Agent Install or Upgrade, Acronis Data Cloud Agent Install or Upgrade with Backup Monitor. Acronis Data Cloud Agent Uninstall, and Acronis Data Cloud Apply Backup Plan. The application of those scripts is a standard ConnectWise Automate procedure. For example, in order to apply the script Acronis Data Cloud Apply Backup Plan to a specific group of clients, you need to know the ID of the backup plan that will be applied to those clients. Thus, navigate to System, Configuration, Dashboard, Config, Integration, Acronis Data Cloud, Imported Backup Plans, select a desired backup plan and press the Copy button next to Plan ID. In order to apply the script Acronis Data Cloud Apply Backup Plan to a group of clients, navigate to Groups, right-click on a desired group, and select Scripts, Computer Scripts, Backup and Recovery, Acronis, Acronis Data Cloud Apply Backup Plan. Paste the copied backup plan ID into the corresponding field and press the OK button. Let's have a look at the reporting capabilities of the Acronis Data Cloud plugin now. It should be noted that the Acronis plugin is natively integrated with the standard backup manager available in the ConnectWise Automate. In order to launch Backup Manager, navigate to Tools and then Backup Manager. The information related to Acronis backup operations presented in the table includes last backup status, last backup time, number of backups failed, and number of warnings. The Acronis plugin is also natively integrated with the ConnectWise Automate database. This allows you to generate native reports via the Report Center. In order to launch the Report Center, navigate to Tools and then Report Center. In particular, you can generate the backup health report under Report List. This report displays the information about completed and failed backups for all machines of a specific client over the last 30 days. All reports generated via the Report Center 
can be exported into Word, Excel, and PDF formats and submitted to the client. Finally, let's have a look at the ticketing capabilities of the Acronis Data Cloud plugin. By default, ConnectWise Automate imports all alerts generated by the Acronis Data Cloud using a sophisticated API connection established between the two platforms. This API connection allows you to receive all Acronis Data Cloud alerts in real time. However, you can specify fine-grained rules to generate only specific types of alerts and automatically convert those alerts into ConnectWise Automate tickets. This can be done by means of a number of pre-installed monitors available via Automation, Monitors, View Monitors, Internal Monitors. As you can see, the pre-installed Acronis monitors are related to both the client and machine levels. Please consult the Acronis Knowledge Base documentation to get more information on how to specify the fine-grained rules for filtering Acronis Data Cloud alerts and generating tickets. In order to view and manage the Acronis Backup Alerts, navigate to Service Desk and then Alerts. Managing the Acronis Backup Alerts is a standard ConnectWise Automate procedure. For example, in order to ignore an alert generated by the Acronis Data Cloud, right-click on the name of that alert and in the pop-up menu select Alerts and then Ignore Alert. In turn, in order to view and manage the Acronis Backup Tickets, navigate to Service Desk and then Tickets. Managing the Acronis Backup Tickets is a standard ConnectWise Automate procedure. For example, in order to delete a ticket generated by the Acronis Data Cloud, right-click on the name of that ticket and in the pop-up menu select Tickets and then Delete. Well, that's it. Are you excited about the capabilities of the Acronis Data Cloud plugin for ConnectWise Automate? You have an opportunity to try our easy, efficient, and secure data protection solution right now. Just go to our website, www.acronis.com, and request a trial account for the Acronis Data Cloud. Have fun!